I believe that sometime in the future, direct DC solar power will slowly become more commonplace. Going back to at least 2012, I have been experimenting with various ways to directly utilize DC solar power from the solar panel array in various appliances and devices. PV to load or direct DC solar power are terms I use to describe the idea of powering useful loads and appliances directly from the solar panel array itself. In undeveloped regions and grid down scenarios, the option to disengage from batteries, charge controllers, and inverters could save costs and reduce wear and tear on critical and expensive components. In a grid down or battery famine scenario, for example, batteries might be scarce and too expensive to replace. You may want to prevent unnecessary cycles and continue operating your appliances. The sky is the limit and there are many other reasons why the PV to load concept can be useful. The logical extension to this concept is what I call PV to wall. The idea of having direct DC solar power easily available anywhere via a wall socket. I have been putting this concept into practice in my solar workshop and in my home for many years. This concept is far from new. Solar powered well and irrigation pumps are already an established lifeline in many places around the world. In this video, I document a small subset of the direct solar powered ideas I have been experimenting with. This concept is part of my daily routine and has been for a long time. It has provided considerable value to me and I intend to continue my research into these ideas. Now let's take a quick look at some of the inventions and ideas I've been putting into practice in my home and in my workshop for quite a while now. This is not a complete list, work is ongoing, but hopefully this is enough to demonstrate the idea. Hi everyone, Dave here. So what do I use direct DC solar power for at my workbench? Well, For years I've been using outlets that I built onto the wall or onto a board to power appliances directly. And I'm going to show you some examples of using direct DC solar power straight from the wall, just like a power outlet in your house, to run various appliances and devices. Now here is the original system from years ago. It's just a box with 2.1 millimeter plugs on it. And this is like a wall outlet and it's directly attached to the solar panel rays outside. These are 100 watt solar panels. And this has served me well. I use this in various forms of it to power all sorts of things in my workshop and you're going to be quite surprised, I think, by what I'm able to do with that. On the new workbench, I have a different setup that I just finished building. Well, actually, it's not finished, but uh, for the moment, I'm able to use it. And you can see that there are 2.1 millimeter plugs directly on the wall on this board. I switched to that method because it's a little bit better for me. And I have currently three outlets on this side and one on this side. Now, the most obvious use of such a direct solar power connection is if anything to charge a solar generator and that's what I'm doing here you can see I'm getting 50 watts into that solar generator and this is very handy and helpful because it gives me AC power and various USB and DC outputs right here on the workbench and it's nice and clean there's a short wire going right out of the wall right into the solar generator and it's connected directly to the 100 watt solar panels outside but there's a lot more to it than that in order to power all these appliances, of course, I have to have a lot of cords, so I use these 2.1 millimeter cords, or I build my own. So let's try an example. First, I'm going to plug into the wall using a 2.1 millimeter cord, so there's an open circuit. All these circuits are fused and directly attached to solar panels, so if I make a mistake, hopefully one of those fuses there will blow. The first thing I'm going to demonstrate running is this Ryobi battery charger. So all I have to do is plug it in. This charger is self-contained and able to run off of any solar power input or any DC input. It's current limited, so it's safe. It just plugs right in the back. So there it is, ready to go. And now all I have to do is put a battery in it, and it will start charging. So no charge controller, no inverter, no battery, no AC to DC power brick. So there's the Ryobi battery charging. What else can I do? There's already another cable plugged in, and that's going over here to this HEPA filter. All the links to these projects will be in the description. This is a HEPA filter that I built a while back. It has RGB LEDs in it, and it uses a very standard HEPA replacement filter cartridge. And there's a switch on the side. The solar power is going right into there. And it turns on. You can see the RGB LEDs in there. And this works very well. It, those filter cartridges are fairly inexpensive, and this does a good job. It runs all day for free off of solar. I don't have to do anything. There's no battery, no charge controller. Very simple, it's robust, and it works. Now, what if I need USB power? Well, that's pretty simple, too. I just plug another cord in. 
And I can plug that into one of these power bricks, USB power bricks. And now I have USB on the workbench. This is just one of the methods that I use. Of course, at some point I'm going to be mounting USB power boards right on the board right there. So I can have USB power, but I haven't decided how I want to do that. And so I've left them off for now. And if I need some power from a bench power supply to charge a battery, for example, as I'm doing here, I just plug it right in the wall there and the solar panels power it and it works just fine. I've been doing this for a long time and I got really used to it. And this is how I do almost everything in the workshop. As I have shown in earlier videos, my overhead LED lighting is solar powered. It's just connected straight to solar panels. There is no charge controller. There's no inverter. And it's very simple. Every day I'm here, this works. It does its job. And I don't have to worry about anything. This doesn't even have a power switch. It's just on and it just works. The lighting that you see overhead on the workbench is also directly attached to those solar panels. There is no charge controller or battery involved. Of course, I have the option of running my overhead lighting on a battery if I wanted to, but right now, I really don't have a need to, and every day I just come in here and these lights are on and they're ready to use. For a really long time, I've had these solar panels mounted on the wall of my solar workshop, and I've been using those solar panels to power various LED lights inside the building. You can see that there is really no sun here in this clip. The sky is gray and overcast, and yet the workbench lights that you just saw are being powered by those solar panels. Even when there seems to be no sun, the LEDs will still light up. As long as there's at least some daylight or sunshine, they come on. I think this stuff is really amazing and really useful, and I hope that in the future it comes to fruition in some form. What if I wanted to heat up my lunch on the workbench using direct DC solar power straight from the wall? Well, I can do that. This is my mini solar electric oven. It has a variety of power sources, and I can put my lunch right in there. Just gotta make sure I don't burn something. You can see I've hit over 200 degrees there, just waiting for it to heat up. And that's running straight off the wall, direct DC solar power. The whole time this is going, my lights are also running and I can use the power to do other things as well. What if I wanted to have some AC power? Well, I don't need a battery for that either. Here I have a specially modified DC to AC inverter, 120 volts AC and it's modified to receive higher voltages than 12 volts. You can see I have a cord there going to it, and I'm just going to plug that straight into the wall here, and it turns on. You can see the green LED. Now I'm going to plug something into it just to verify that it's working. Yep, it's working. Here is another good example of the inverter running a HEPA filter. That's an AC-powered HEPA filter, and this core is going down there, and it's plugged into the inverter. So that's running straight off the direct DC solar power right there. It generally varies from 15 to 17 volts depending on what I've plugged in. Sometimes I want to power more than one thing from the same cable, so for that I created this splitter box that takes a 2.1 millimeter plug and gives you two more outputs. This is very handy on the workbench. I use it all the time. Here I'm using two different power outputs. So I'm getting AC power here and I'm running a table lamp right there. AC power on this side. That's plugged into the splitter box. And over here I'm charging a 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. And that way it allows me to have more connections on the workbench if I need to. Of course, if I really want to charge Ryobi 18 volt power tool batteries off solar, I have this thing and it will do three off of direct solar power at the same time. Usually I only need to charge one at a time, but I can attach this thing with an adapter to 2.1 millimeter, and it will charge three power tool batteries all at the same time. You can see the electronics down there that drive it. There's four power boards in here. It's also got fans to keep the uh, conversion boards cool because in the summer they get pretty hot. And if this thing's sitting out in the sun, it, it can get pretty hot. It gets quite a workout. And there's a readout here that shows me the voltage and how much power is flowing through the system. If you're interested in this project, I'll also include a link to it in the description. In another project, I successfully ran a netbook or laptop directly off of a solar panel. I also proved that the laptop could take a direct PVDC input to both run the laptop and also charge the battery. 
making it completely self-contained and independent. This is one of my oldest projects, it's linked in the description. But it doesn't end there. For years I've been running Ryobi 18 volt power tools directly off of solar panels. From my solar powered weed whacker, to a soldering iron, a hot glue gun, a Dremel tool, and more. All links are in the description. And of course, cooling a shed or an outbuilding with a fan and a solar panel is really a thing, and it really works. I've been doing this for years, and it's a great way to learn about DIY solar power. I am fascinated by anything that takes direct DC solar power and uses it to perform useful functions. In the wintertime, I use a variety of modified electric space heaters, which are used to directly heat my home using no charge controllers, no batteries, and no inverter. This has been quite successful and I've been doing it for several winter seasons now. One of the most interesting things I have tried is cooking food directly off of solar panels with no battery, no inverter, no charge controller, no expensive high-end electronics. It's just simple, robust, and easy. And unlike solar thermal cookers, it has a pair of wires allowing you to bring the cooking indoors, which is a much more civilized and easier to control experience. The oven I'm showing you here can run off of two 100 watt solar panels easily and there's a newer version in development that only needs a single 100 watt solar panel. I can't get over how simple and effective this technology is. It's robust, durable, and easy to maintain, possible for a DIYer to build, and in a grid down scenario it would be quite useful to have. The most efficient DC cooking device I ever built ran off of a 20 watt solar panel and used only 14 watts of power to boil an egg. Instead of a standard resistance element, it used a diode chain to extract the heat from the solar panel much more efficiently. In another video, I built a toaster oven that was powered by two 18 volt power tool batteries. The oven has the capability to accept a direct 100 watt solar panel input feed, which both runs the oven and or charges the batteries. But it can also run directly off of a small solar panel array, making it a truly flexible and unique design. All related video and playlist links are posted in the description down below. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.